Hey there! Welcome back to the Noctis on YouTube. Cranes play a crucial role in various projects, especially at ports. At the port, cranes are commonly used for lifting and moving heavy items like shipping containers and steel beams. Cranes are carefully designed and constructed, using the best materials to ensure stability. To operate a crane effectively, a professional and experienced crane operator is required to minimize the risk of accidents. Port crane operators are responsible for operating cranes at the port to load and unload cargo. They need specialized certification to operate a crane, such as NCCO certification, OSHA training, CDL licenses, rigor certification, forklift training, fall protection training, spotter certification, and power line safety awareness certification. NCCO certification, for example, needs to be renewed every five years. Without the required certifications, operating a crane without a licensed operator is prohibited. During training programs, prospective crane operators learn how to operate cranes, read blueprints, maintain equipment, and follow safety procedures. Safety is paramount, and operators must adhere to safety protocols to protect themselves and others. They must also identify safety hazards and take necessary steps to mitigate them. Crane operators need technical skills, including knowledge of machinery, computer programs and other technical skills. Even with specialized certification, crane operators receive training from the companies they work for. They are responsible for ensuring the crane is positioned safely and efficiently. Proper preparation and planning ensure that tasks are carried out safely and efficiently. A crane operator also needs to ensure that their crew members working with the crane are qualified and capable of making the best decisions while working. This includes systematic equipment checks, examining the crane to prevent cable electricity leaks or indicator computer LMI issues. Any defects found must be promptly addressed. These inspections can take up to an hour each day. Once inspections are complete, operators sign off on daily operational checklists, ODCL, and can begin their work. After routine checks, a crane operator enters the crane cabin. They start the crane's engine and position it as needed. To prevent accidents, they use safety equipment like seat belts and helmets. Once everything is set, they can operate the crane, lifting and moving heavy loads from one location to another. Container portal cranes are commonly used at ports for lifting and moving large loads. These cranes are powered by electricity from diesel generators connected to the framework. They require electrical power ranging from 4,000 to 13,500 volts to operate. The lifting capacity of portal cranes varies depending on their size. Cranes are operated from cabins located at the top of the crane and suspended from a trolley. Operators use cranes to move containers from ships or docks for loading or unloading cargo. Effective communication is crucial between the ship, dock workers and crane operators to prevent accidents during cargo transfer. Communication is key in the cargo transfer process from ship to dock or vice versa. Crane operators inside the crane cabin communicate via radios with other crew members assisting in crane operations on the ship or at the port. They ensure that the work proceeds smoothly without hindering the cargo delivery process. When unloading containers from ships to docks, stevedores or port workers will release container restraints and twist locks. 
Then, the chosen container is unloaded by the portal crane, and the spreader is lowered onto the container. Subsequently, the spreader is locked onto the container using twist locks at four corners or corner castings. Once attached, the crane operator can lift the container and use lateral movements to remove it from the ship and load it onto trucks on the dock. Crane operators can lift up to four containers simultaneously, depending on the crane type and container size. Loading cargo from the port onto a ship must be done one by one according to the cargo plan. The crew, including crane operators, must pay attention to the ship's stability during cargo loading. Precise container, loading and arranging guides within the cargo hold are essential. Before transporting the cargo from the port to the ship, trucks and trailers may transport the containers from storage to the portal crane. The spreader can then lift the cargo and move it directly into the container ship. Loading and unloading cargo at the port using these cranes can take several hours, especially with large and heavy cargo. Container portal cranes consist of a supporting frame, transverse operator cabin, boom, spreader, and gantry operator cabin. The supporting frame is installed on rails or moved on rubber tires to hold the boom and spreader. The transverse operator cabin is where the operator operates the crane and includes a seat and controls. The boom is suspended on the water side, allowing it to move up or down as needed. The spreader can be opened and closed depending on the size and quantity of containers to be lifted. Lastly, the gantry operator cabin is located at the top of the supporting frame, allowing the operator to have a clear view of cargo loading and unloading operations. After completing their work, crane operators must shut down the crane's engine and remove safety equipment like seat belts and helmets. They must ensure that the crane is in a stable and correct position and check the crane's machinery for any issues. If any problems are found, they must be repaired promptly or with the assistance of specialized technicians. Workers must also regularly clean and lubricate the crane's machinery to prevent malfunctions and ensure longevity. Despite the advanced technology in cranes, being a crane operator is not an easy job. It requires coordination, precision and accuracy. The job also comes with daily risks. Crane operators work in various weather conditions and uncertain temperatures. Cold temperatures can affect hydraulic systems and crane equipment. Other weather conditions like rain, fog and snow can create slippery conditions on the ground and disrupt stability, especially when dealing with large and heavy cargo. Additionally, strong winds can affect the lifting process, especially for large and heavy cargo. Besides weather challenges, crane operators must always be cautious while performing their duties. The job carries a high level of danger and the risk of accidents such as getting trapped, falling or being struck by heavy objects. Therefore, one of the requirements for working as a crane operator is to have a strong physical condition to avoid illness and injuries. Many companies offering crane operator positions also provide health benefits to their employees a crane operator can work more than 40 hours per week, including morning shifts, afternoon shifts, weekends and holidays. Some port crane operators may even work 24 hours a day, depending on the company's policy. Port crane operators may need to work far from home for extended periods, ranging from months to several months. As a result, Companies typically provide accommodation facilities, such as dormitories for their workers, including crane operators. These dormitories often include bedrooms for rest and clean bathrooms. 
Given the high risks involved, it's not surprising that crane operators can earn a substantial income. Crane operators can earn an average salary of $47,000 per year. Higher positions, such as crane operator managers, can earn around $81,000 per year. Additionally, some companies offer specific bonuses for high-performing crane operators or achieving certain targets. Due to the many job opportunities for crane operators, it's likely that their salaries and bonuses will continue to increase in the coming decades. Port crane operators typically start their careers as apprentices, working under the supervision of experienced operators. As they gain experience, they can move up to positions with greater responsibilities, such as lead operators or supervisors. In some cases, port crane operators may also be involved in the maintenance and repair of cranes. The higher the position, the higher the level of risk they may face. Crane operator positions are not limited to ports alone. Crane operators can also work on land-based projects, especially in the construction of tall buildings like apartments and offices, in the construction of multi-story buildings, operators are required to operate cranes. While port cranes are used primarily for loading and unloading cargo containers from docks and ships, land-based cranes are used to transport large materials like steel frames. Similar to port crane operators, land-based crane operators face high risks in their work. Risks include unpredictable weather conditions and accidents, such as being struck by heavy loads. Therefore, land-based crane operators must understand established safety procedures. At a minimum, they are required to use helmets and seat belts when operating cranes. They are also required to undergo training or obtain specialized certification to become skilled and professional crane operators. While the salaries of land-based crane operators are not as high as those of port crane operators, they are still adequate and commensurate with the risks they face every day.